Don't confuse sacrifice with seed sowing. The Bible says in Psalms, that those that sow in tears will reap in what? Will reap in joy, bringing their sheaves with them in their hand. See, when you sow and you are still crying, there is tears or cry. It's not sacrifice. Have you offered and you are just looking like a dummy, like, cry, you cannot cry. Laugh, you cannot laugh. You are just looking like, huh? Like, have I been defrauded? They will ask you a question, you won't have answer. I said, my won't here. You know why? The Bible says, except a corn of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it abideth alone. But when it dies, it bringeth forth what? Much. It means that the principle of the seed is that it must first rot for it to give you an harvest. Anytime your sacrifice is rotting, it was not accepted. Sacrifices don't rot. It's either they are consumed by fire or they disappear. So when you see your seed rotting, that was not right, that was seed. And that is why the speed at which sacrifices answer and bring change is crazy. It's unbelievable. The seed faith, there's a mixture of seed faith. I've thought it before. It works. But there's a difference between seed faith and sacrifice. Don't confuse it. Sacrifice will cost you everything. It will cost you everything. There are things seed sowing cannot do that only sacrifice can do. There are things prayer cannot do that only sacrifice can do or seed sowing can do. I hope you know. Who combed your hair today? Was it prayer that combed it? Lafrina Kuzi had a buyer. Your hair was combed. A giga suit a higher. Now you can't driving. No. There are things prayer cannot do. There are things confession of the word cannot do. It's truth. I tell you the truth. There are things that only have answers to sacrifice. And so, sacrifice has weight. They are weightier than the other. But there are things that desire cannot change. It's principles, mysteries that determines the outcome. So whether you fight it or not, you like it or not, you argue with it, you do your exegesis against it, whatever you do, in the end, it is mystery that will win. You know the way God has organized the world? God hears every prayer. There's a principle that he has created that makes everything work. He listens to your prayer by a principle. He answers them by a principle. Are you following me? He receives your sacrifice by a principle. He receives your offering by a principle. Everything on earth has been embedded into a system backed by a principle. And principles don't check color. You say, who is, who is offering the sacrifice? Where did she sit last night? In the, in the motel, have you? No, they don't check. If principles are aligned with, outcome will change.